Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Rahma's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making some honeycomb bread. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and go into the video, okay? Um, let me show you guys the ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, we need our flour, we need sugar, we need our yeast, okay? We need milk, I have a cup of warm milk. I have uh, half a stick of butter uh, melted. We're gonna need a little bit of baking powder, some salt, um, I think that's everything for the dough. And then later on, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna need some um, cream cheese too, because I'm gonna show you how to um, put this into the bread before you bake it. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the glaze for the bread. Okay? So of course, let's start by activating our yeast. We're gonna put our milk in here, warm milk. And you don't want to do cold milk when you're trying to activate the yeast because it just doesn't work like that. You need you need something warm. You don't if you take it out the fridge and just put it in there, you might not get the activation you need. So make sure you warm it up at least for a minute or 45 seconds. Um, and then I have a tablespoon of yeast in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also put a tablespoon of sugar. Come on, where is it? Ah, sugar. We're gonna go ahead and mix this and cover it for 10 minutes. Mix, mix, mix. Cover this for 10 minutes and let it activate. So hello guys, we are back after 10 minutes of letting our yeast um, activate or ferment. We are ready to add the other stuff. So I have my um, butter here. It was a half a stick of butter. I melted it a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add our butter Okay And then we can Let me see this right here We're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar So I have one Two And three here so that's that we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder and then we're gonna add oh I spilled some okay and then now we're gonna add our salt and this is half a teaspoon of salt okay now we're gonna go ahead with our flour and start mixing. Got the other ingredients in. We're gonna go in with our flour. And you can do, uh, mix it with your hands, but I have a electric mixer, so I'm gonna use that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start mixing those. And of course, we're gonna add more flour as we go. So we're going to add another cup of flour. Oop, making a mess here. So after letting it mix for a couple of minutes, we have our dough here. Soft. You want it soft. You don't want hard. We're going to take it out of here. Okay. Look at that. All right. Okay, you want it soft. So I just, I actually just did the two cups of um, flour and I mixed it for a couple minutes in the mixer. But if you're hand uh, mixing it, you can um, mix it for like 10 minutes. Knead it for 10 minutes or whatever. And then I have my flour here. I have, I put some oil on here because we want this to be a soft dough. We want it to be nice and soft and firm and stuff we don't want it to be hard so i'm gonna um knead this couple more minutes with some oil or you can use butter. after kneading for 10 more minutes or five more minutes i mean i'm sorry i'm gonna go ahead and it's nice and soft as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and place it in a bowl i have some oil on here i want to place it on here in a bowl and i'm gonna cover it with a clean towel for about an hour 
Okay. I'll cover this up. We're gonna come back in an hour. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the icing for the bread. Okay. See you later. So hey guys, it's been an hour and our dough has um, doubled in size. So we're gonna go ahead and start shaping um, our bread. Now I have this pan here if you have a round pan you could use it i have a round one it's just very small and i don't want to um, run out of space so i'm going to use this one right here i have a little bit of butter i'm going to go ahead and just butter this down real good okay that was like one fourth of um from the stick of butter so i'm going to go ahead and just rub it all over okay so i just want to get that all over the pan all right so guys i'm gonna start shaping them um i cut it in half i'm gonna start shaping so what you can do is just make it into smaller pieces so like that 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 and the same thing for the other one spread it out See, I'm working with uh, <laughs> one hand and trying to record on the other. Oh my God, I gotta do better. <laughs> so just cut them into smaller. I might have to cut it smaller than that, but let's see. So far we have that. So this is how it's gonna be, basically. And you can fit it into your, the palm of your hands, okay? And we're going to go ahead and just... All right, guys, some. so we cut it into smaller pieces, and now I have a piece. I put uh, a piece of the cream cheese in there. We're going to go ahead and cover this into a nice ball. I already did one right here, just to show you an example. So we're going to cover this into a nice ball, okay? And just, if you need to, you can go ahead and cut off the edges or the ends where you don't need. So you can turn it into a ball right there. Okay, so I, you can cut it off like that, and then you can just, you have your bread right there, okay? And you can place it on the grease pan. We're going to do the rest, and then I'll be hey guys, so I ended up making about 12 of these. I'm going to go ahead and cover this, and as you can see, pay attention to how I made the balls. They're not too big. They're not way too small. They're just perfect, and they're all the same shape. And they're gonna we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and let it rise again um and then in the meantime i'm gonna show you how i make my dramatic um icing for this or whatever it's called so fyi i ended up using about six ounces of the cream cheese because this is an eight ounce so i ended up using about six ounces of that um so i made 12 balls out of the measurement we just made so i think that's about how much you're gonna end up using if you do this the same exact measurement so welcome back guys um uh, we have about 10 more minutes no yeah we have about 10 more minutes left uh for our bread and while we wait for that to finish rising we are going to make my dramatic uh coating or icing for the bread now let me just make this clear you can do other things now there's different ways to do this that you know to put on top of the bread one way you can do is just by making a simple syrup with some water and sugar boil it down into a syrup and you can put that on your bread another way to do it is just by making um not making by getting the sweet and condensed milk from the can in the store and just when you take it right out and putting that all over it you can do that this one right here is more of something i i'm putting together i put together I have um, some that I made earlier already to show you guys what it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna show Okay, so um, in here I have a mixture of, now let me just explain what this is. This is the Tress, tr Tress, is it Tress? Tress Leach's uh, mixture, uh, milk mixture. And what that is, is uh, three milk put together. It's condensed milk. Um, sweet and condensed milk. It's evaporated milk and heavy cream that I put together. I was using last week for a cake So I'm gonna use some of that. Like I said, you don't have to do this part. It's just something that um, I'm doing Okay, so let me show you what it looks like It's that right there. Okay, so we're gonna probably end up using 
probably not gonna end up using all that but if you want to do this part right here you don't have to instead of doing that you can just use heavy cream instead of doing this part right here you can skip this part and just use heavy cream okay this is condensed milk sweetened condensed milk <coughs> evaporated milk and um heavy cream so sweetened condensed milk all right guys so i put the cup of powdered um sugar in there i don't know why this is not focusing okay and i'm gonna add the butter we had the two tablespoons of butter i think that was okay and we're gonna add a splash of vanilla extract okay and i'm gonna use my trust leeches mixture a little bit of that and we're gonna um just start mixing right now okay and i'm gonna keep adding some more i'm gonna add as you go you just add as you go But like I said, instead of using the, um, so, as you can see, we have the axis sugar on the sides. We're going to go ahead and just make sure we put that in there with the other stuff in there. Mix in it. And like I said, instead of that, you can always add more heavy cream or the trust leeches if you want, if you're using that. And then add more um, powdered sugar as you need. And until you get the consistency you want, you just keep adding whatever you need. I'm going to put the rest of this in there and then add more powdered sugar. Because I want it to be thick. So I'm going to add more sugar to it. Like I said, I want it to be like this I made earlier. Nice and thick. So I'm going to add more powdered sugar to that. And then we should be all done after. All right, hey guys. So it's been 30 minutes or 35 minutes and our bread is ready. Um, I went ahead and sprinkled, not sprinkled. Oh God. Rub some milk. I have some milk right here. On it, I'm going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes um, on 350. We're going to check it in 20 minutes. But yeah, I'm going to put this in the oven now. As you guys can see. This has formed nicely. Do that. And we are going to put it in the oven. Beautiful. So after 25 minutes on 350, um, we have our bread. It's ready. And then I have my um, icing or whatever coating right here that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. I'm going to go ahead and just drizzle that all over i let it sit out for about a minute so it's ready to drizzle on it and just let it just pour it in there okay give it a good just pour it in there look okay all right guys so this is the final look to it but and you can just always make it smaller if you want your um rolls to be smaller make it smaller by any means um but this is what you know we got here so i'm gonna go ahead and just try one but like definitely like i said make it smaller okay that one right here and let's get another one this looks so good right now ah my hands are so i'm gonna use my hands don't I'm just eating this, so mm, 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 mm. I need a spoon. Get me a spoon. Okay, spoon. Hurry up. Okay. So let's go ahead and drizzle some on here and look at that. Okay. And then go ahead and right here. Mm hmm Look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 